Every Friday evening, as Shabbat is about to enter our lives, we prepare for Shabbat and we welcome it with a service called Kabbalat Shabbat. Kabbalat Shabbat means welcoming or greeting Shabbat. And the structure of this service is pretty amazing. The symbolism behind each of the tefillot, each of the prayers. And what I wanted to talk with you today is about the first six psalms. There are a couple of other prayers which we'll look at later, but today just the first six psalms of Kabbalat Shabbat. They come to us from the book of Psalms, and they are 95, number 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and then we go back and we do number 29. And each of these Psalms, if you count them up, because there are six in total, each of these Psalms represents one day of the week. And this practice of reciting six Psalms on Kabbalat Shabbat, leading up to what we'll talk about next time, L'Chadodi, and then the Psalm for Shabbat was actually instituted uh, by the Kabbalist, the Jewish mystic Rabbi Moses uh, Cordovero. Uh, he lived in Sfat, in Safed, uh, between 1522 and 1570. And he created the structure of this service to include these six Psalms, one for each day of the week, leading up to uh, the welcoming of Shabbat with Kabbalat Shabbat. But there's more to it than even that. You know, I like to have fun with gematria, the study of Hebrew letters and their numerical values. When I do baby names, I'll oftentimes talk about the numerical value of the child's name. Well, there's uh, gematria to be had with the Kabbalat Shabbat service as well. And I wanted to tell you a couple of those pieces. First of all, if you look at the first letter in each of these six psalms, the first letter in each of the psalms that we read at Kabbalat Shabbat, and you add up their numerical values, remembering that Aleph is one, Bet is two, so on and so forth. If you add up the numerical value of the first letter of each of these six psalms, you get the number 430, which equals the value of the Hebrew word nefesh. Nefesh means soul. One of the traditions is that on Shabbat, we're given an additional soul. We get an extra soul. That's one of the reasons why at Havdalah, at the service that ends Shabbat, we use spices. We use them uh, sort of as smelling salts to wake up our soul that we have with us all week long because that additional soul that we've had over Shabbat is leaving us. And this, uh, these six psalms remind us of that gift, that gift of that additional soul by just adding up the first love letter of each of those psalms. If we also look at the total number of words, the words, if you add up all the words in all six of these psalms, you get the number 702. And what does that equal in Gematria? Of course, it equals the word Shabbat. Shin is 400, Bet is 2, and Tav, I'm sorry, Shin is 300, Bet is 2, and Tav is 400, 702. So we have in uh, this, these Psalms, we have not only the symbolism of the six days leading up to Shabbat, but we also have these Gematria games, these little number games that we can play, giving us hints about what Shabbat is truly about. It's about nurturing our soul, giving us an additional soul that the soul that we use all week long can replenish itself for the work that lies ahead. Next week, we're going to look at the transitional prayer that takes us from these six psalms, these six days of work, into the new, uh, the new gift of Shabbat. And then after that, the psalm for Shabbat itself. So until next time, Shabbat Shalom.